Good morning, folks. We've sped up this ESO video, linked the accompanying article about bright stars in Messier 7. It's a top recommendation. The ESA has moved closer to certainty about the mission that I believe will solidify the star water principles across the galaxy. Couldn't be more excited. This isn't exactly a new story, but yet another example that the packaging of our foods is possibly poisoning us. With a brief history and diligence for biomimetic chemistry, I have very strong feelings about this stuff. Mostly on the GMO side, though. I've gone ahead and relinked my article from the beginning of the year. Boy in event mode. It's the same sinker as yesterday. Something to monitor going forward. Tropical forecasters flipped the script on me last night and shifted the foregoing tropical concerns back northeast of Australia. Speaking of. There's the current low there. They spin clockwise, sucking in in the southern hemisphere, and this one dropped a month's worth of rainfall in three hours. In the north, the lows suck in counterclockwise, and you can see the leading convergence cresting the continent now. The drive may create some more of those situations you folks were dealing with the last month or so. In the U.S., IntelliCast shows a major temperature delta. What causes this? A very big counterclockwise driving low pressure cell with gulf heat and moisture on the leading edge and cold chills behind. Precipitation drawn up the east could be major today, including severe thunderstorms and possibly even a tornado. It's that time again, folks. Check your local forecasts. Yesterday afternoon, we watched another filament rip away in an Earth-facing position. NASA confirms yet another shockwave expected at our planet. So far, the shocks have been minor, but in succession, and this last one was of medium power and put us right back into a level 2 geomagnetic storm. The X-ray flux is making a return this morning as well, kicking off with an M-class solar flare from the western limb departing spots. You might remember that our magnetic connection to the sun is over there, and we got surged. Within moments, the particle flux began, and we've just had a radiation storm begin at Earth, currently minor and confined to the poles. Sunspots incoming are looking to have solid magnetic complexity, but there's actually a good bit of separation and organization to the umbral group. We'll see what they do today along with their northern trailers. Corona hold directly earth-facing today, albeit much weakened from yesterday, with the next one coming in visible on the limb now. Current conditions and some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.